Good evening. Thanks for joining us. They are basic rules of the road, but police say it looks like texting while driving and not buckling up have combined to claim yet another young life. 16 year old Kira Hayes was an outgoing, well liked student at Ellsworth High School in Wisconsin. Investigators say that she was not wearing a seatbelt when her vehicle left the highway and rolled. Worse yet, it appears she was forced off the road by another driver who was texting with both hands holding her phone. It happened on Friday afternoon, just a few miles north of River Falls along the four lane highway 35 in St. Croix County. Bill Hudson says that Kira's death is hitting the close knit community very hard. In Ellsworth, after school hoops was played with broken hearts. It's going to impact a lot of people here. Ellsworth High School junior Kira Hayes was killed Friday afternoon in a rollover accident. She was really outgoing and just really nice. And just, I mean, every time I saw her in the hallway, she'd say hi to me or be smiling or laughing. Kira had just advanced Friday in regional forensics competition. She wants to sing a solo in tonight's choir concert. If it could have been prevented, I think that's what makes it harder. She was heading to work at her family's sandwich shop and was behind a northbound car on Highway 35. Witnesses say the other driver was weaving, texting with both hands on her phone. Kira swerved to avoid colliding, lost control, and rolled. Investigators say Kira wasn't wearing a seat belt. She made, simply made our school a better place, is what she did. Principal Mark Stays said counselors and clergy were on hand to help a grieving student body. A lot of these kids haven't had to deal with these type of emotions before, and I think that's one of our biggest concerns is just helping them deal with their emotions and, and to be there for them and let them know that uh, uh, however they need to express that, it's, it's, it's okay. A difficult and somber lesson in life and the fragility of losing one so promising and young. And I think it just makes you treasure life more because it's like it could happen. I mean, just a normal school day after school, she's going to work, and then boom, she's not ever coming home again, you know. Now, the school will help students attend Kira's funeral on Wednesday and will tape it to show others who can't attend. Now, meantime, the investigation continues into the 21 year old driver from Big Lake looking at her phone records for the evidence needed to support any texting. And driving charges. Very sad story yes, indeed, it Amelia. Is. It is, Bill. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And friends of Kira's have set up a GoFundMe campaign to raise money to help cover funeral expenses. If you'd like to donate, we do have a link at WCCO.com.